Hey friends, welcome back to Skill Builder Zone. By the end of this video, you will be able to create such flow diagrams with animated flows. So let's create a new uh, diagram. Uh, this is where your name of the diagram is. When you create a new diagram, you can change it from the above uh, section. Um, and on the left side, if you see that's your file, you can open your recent diagrams. Uh, you can save as you can export as uh, these uh, formats so we are just going through you know what all things you can uh, do uh, basic navigation uh, in draw.io or the diagrams.net so uh, yeah these are the options available for embedded uh, for export as uh, this is your edit section this is the view section uh, there is a uh, you know uh, there is this this area where you can change languages so you can you know go ahead and have a look you can just try and see what settings uh, are available uh, let's rename this file as demo that demo one dot draw dot draw io uh, on the general section you will see all the basic shapes the general shapes and we can you know just use them to create your diagrams if you are creating basic uh, workflows uh, or flowcharts so uh this quick one i'll show you how to you know uh, have the layers so if you see this rectangle on top of the circle and then on top of this i can have a triangle so what you want to do is just right click and if you go to uh, if you see there's options to front to back bring forward and send backward so if you use those you should be able to create the layers and uh, whatever you want on the top will be uh, to front and so on so these this is the option where you you know create the layers on the left is all the uh, shapes and icons that's available to me and if i want more shapes there is a you know button called more shapes if i go there and this, these are the options that's available on the left you see standard and software and anything that i want i can i just need to click you know check that box and apply and you'll have those shapes available in your uh, draw uh, draw.io uh, desktop so uh, if i select one of those and click apply it should be available there are so many options that's there you know uh, the networking your cloud your azure aws your businesses uh, the uml diagrams and everything that, everything that you can think of is available here so just go ahead and you know select what you need and start using that for now let me just uh, yeah, show you a few things here if you see this is the CAE companies all are these uh, you know uh, icons that's available the docker and so on uh, this is the azure one these are all old icons uh, if you see uh, these are the old you know the fluorescent blue <laughs> diagrams but uh, icons which, which is still uh, you can use it uh, this is where you can uh, add plugins i have already added the animations plugin uh, which you know uh, is a bit advanced uh, side of animation uh, but yeah we will learn that uh, in future uh, in future videos again uh, this is uh, basic shapes rectangles and squares and on the right side you will see the style so you can have the colors the fills the line the opacity all these properties of these uh, uh you know uh, the shapes uh, you can change uh, you can just double click on each uh, shape and you'll be able to write uh, inside it uh, yeah. whatever you want to you know uh, yeah. have it in uh, if, if you're using it as a text box you can just write whatever you want or just the name of the icon uh, this is a simple a sample of uh, a flowchart available in draw.io uh, if you see this is a uh, very basic like uh, if the lamp doesn't work what, what you do so we'll just create a copy of that in our own way let me uh, yeah so you just pull in the shapes that you need join them if you click on it and if you see that the arrow appears and you can just join them and if you click on an eye uh, on a shape and you just control c and control v you should be able to copy that and then you can just write whatever you need on that shape if it's a icon of something you can also uh, you know have a 
title for that, a name for that. So you can do that. If you drag it, you can change the size of the shapes. Uh, you can also just, you know, create. If you go to the arrow, it will pop an option what's available for that shape. Uh, for this, I used a rectangle. And then there is an option to just double click and you should be able to write a text. So this is a flowchart that I'm creating, like what to eat if there is food in the fridge. Uh, if there is no food in the fridge, uh, just order from delivery. If there is, can you cook? If no, then ask your sister to cook. I mean, obviously, if you don't know how to cook, you'll have to need some help. If you know, then yeah, cook and eat. So very simple flowchart. Let me quickly drop in some colors to make it beautiful. And once done, it looks very nice. And I'll just save it. And that's it. We have created a simple flowchart. And if I want to add, see, these are the changes that you can do uh, on the right side, the style of each uh, shapes. Once you're done with the diagram, you can click on the connection connectors, you know, when you connect, and then if you click on opacity, and the flow animation it will create this animation and your diagram will spring into life and that's how you do it in next video we'll know how to import these uh, animated diagrams and then how you can share it as a gif uh, file so yeah uh, i hope you found this video useful please do subscribe and share it if you uh, think it's <laughs> worthy enough thanks for watching and keep supporting